here we are with John's. So I made it in the, the new Mustang. Pete's here. Yeah. We're going to try a little tweak on his car because it's surging. And we think we have a, a fix for it. And then we're going to, today, try to put a shift light in John's car using his Terminator. And he's got most of the hardware all ready to go. And hopefully it should take us only about an hour. And then, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would take me about an hour <laughs> and uh yeah so we'll show you what he's got here and show you what we're gonna do it and we're gonna wire it up and it should only take about an hour so, so time stamp please yeah <laughs> we're gonna advertise it well 19, all right no slacking all right no, no slacking let's go okay pete what are you doing so what we're doing is we're going to take this off because um, the spring that's in there, mm -hmm. we believe, has been cut. Um, and at top boost, it starts bleeding off. Right. So I've got another spring in the box. So we're a little gonna stiffer. Take, we're going to take this off. Take all these off. Um, take the spring out. I've got another one in there. So yep. we'll come back when I've uh, got this off. All right. And after the fighters go away. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's a part. This is the one we've taken out. So nothing cut off of it, but it is it's not as strong on the one on the left. So we're gonna put the one on the left in there now and then go and give it a try, I suppose. So I'll put it back together, be back with you shortly. sound totally different so all righty yes, yeah. well sneaky's done <laughs> Nin 1946 yeah, I'm you, done, you almost John. took up half my time here <laughs> i don't even run a wire yet on john's <laughs> all right let's keep cracking all right let's get, we're losing light here already in england but the wire's through the firewall and we're gonna tap it into this harness bring it down and over where the ignition is and then we're going to go right up to where john has this solid state msd relay and it's we already have the four outputs from the terminator going into it but we're only using one two three two to control uh each of his fans and then one controls the electric water pump so but for now it's already just sitting there waiting this here wire so and this will we'll have to change an input in the computer to whatever what rev limiter we want to set tied to this output 8500 <laughs> signal <laughs> send it this to for a switched 12 volts out to the shift light so uh, get this plumbed in and next is figuring out where to mount the shift light so we got to the point where we got the main feed in and now john is sitting in the driver's seat to eyeball the shift light up, so if I go like that, that should be, that should be fine. Right? Do you want it back? you want it forward? Probably a little bit forward to give us room with yeah, the Yeah, so this will yeah. move. All right, try not to breathe. <laughs> well, <laughs> technical this, look, eh? <laughs> so a couple, a couple of Come red on. rednecks yeah, right. having to go yeah. at this. I don't. Even, I haven't even drank any beers yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's a first. Let's pull that up. Next. You're gonna have to line that up and tell me where it was. It um, was about. Uh, let's probably get on the drill bit and just hold it there. All right. Okay. Yeah, no more. We need more light in the future. All right. Is that angled properly? Right there. All right, I can take it here. We good. I don't want to get my finger in the way. Saw what you did last time. <laughs> See? 
Right there when I hold it. Mm, good for you. <laughs> it's also your hand that you were drilling into, so you're gonna be doing it better. All right, um, screws are in here. And get this thing bolted up. There it is, mounted to the side of the binnacle. Kind of aimed right at, at right John's at height. Yep. So, uh, we have it wired up temporarily because I don't know which uh, which wire is positive and negative for polarity. So we're gonna try it once, and if it doesn't work, then we're just gonna flip the wires yep. and give it a go again. And we're here inside the software, and we're in the input output map. I selected outputs here. Two, three outputs already: is fan one, fan two, and the water pump. So I have to call this one uh, shift light. And then this is going to, well, I got to enable it. It's going to be activated by ground. Go back to the pin map. Go on, outputs. We've used one, two, and three. Right. So, if we have so that four is the one that's left. That one used to go to your idler, that's to right. your idler control valve. We, we got Since we got the different, the, uh, the Fiesta style valve, yep. we can use that input. See, there's shift light now. <clears throat> So we had to drag that out before that one would go in. Mm -hmm. So now if I'm done, back, I'll put shift light, configure. It's not switched by anything. It's mm -hmm. a sensor based on RPM. So then, there we go. Mm -hmm. So when RPM is above 2000, do you want it Skeeters. to deactivate because otherwise it's going to stay on, won't it? Well, it should, hopefully it'll go back off when it drops below. Well, that's what I was wondering is that the deactivation. Let me send it to the ECU. <clears throat> Changes the required use power to be cycled. Yep. All right. And cycle it and see what happens. All right. All right. USB link. All right. Start it up and see. to here and I'll go to outputs shift light configure and we're gonna go 7,000 oof <laughs> send it uh, you don't fucking need 7,000 what do you want into that <laughs> like 66 alright by the time I shift it because well. because the limiter is at 7 grand so uh -huh. it'll I'll hit the limiter when I'm doing that well that's what you want that's yeah, what's 66 be. is fine for now. When were uh, on the dyno? When was it uh, falling off on the curve? It didn't. It didn't fall off drastically. So it, it peaked at. Uh, I want to say it was like 64, 64, mm. but uh, it it was still kind of flat on the top uh -huh. of it. It didn't just drop off. So, so um, I can go look at the um, the numbers again and just see where the. Yeah. Well, 
the ideal thing is to get real nerdy and figure out where your torque peak is. And then where the RPM drops in that. Yeah, you wherever it'll drop, you want to hit your torque peak yeah. and ride that wave through. And yeah. But uh, at least this will be consistent with the light because yep. the tack is just, the Crap. needle just swings so much <laughs> out of control. It's, it's, it's garbage. And uh, well, we'll see what, how it goes on the next little track. And then you got old age to take into account as well. Oh, there's so that. 66, you'll be shifting at seven. <laughs> oh, right. I, I still shift faster than you do. <laughs> Even granny shifting, I shift faster. That than reaction you time. You do, John. <laughs> <laughs> so. uh, all right. Uh, it's all apart. We just got to button it back yeah. up. But as far as the functionality, yay, that's where we're at. As advertised. And, and it's dark. One of my I bust my time by half hour. Yep. Yep. Well, so, most of that was looking for wiring. Yeah. Anyway. Just a quick Wednesday, you know, back with the guys, which has been a while for all three of us. Yep. And uh, yeah, in the dark already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the days are getting <laughs> it was short. Only a few weeks ago, yeah. we were still in the sunshine. I know. So, yeah. uh, these days are getting short fast. So uh, yeah, we'll get some more videos together when we get some content. But uh, thanks for sticking with us to the end. Appreciate it. And uh, this is a dark. See you guys again soon. <laughs> <laughs>